Hello there everyone and welcome to this two minute tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at how we can get nice even dialogue levels inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Just by looking at the waveforms of this clip on our timeline, we can already see that the volume is a lot quieter than we need it to be. To fix this, we're going to click on the clip and bring up our gain settings, and I'm going to go ahead and normalize the audio peaks to minus three dB. So let's play our clip back and see how it sounds. Yeah, 100% uh, Barramundi are the iconic sport fish of the north, and uh, that's what we're here to catch. The next thing you'll notice is that he starts talking strong, but by the end he's started talking much softer. To fix this, we're going to go to our effects panel, open up our audio effects folder and find the dynamics filter. We'll drop that on our clip, then go up to the effect controls, hit edit and turn on the compressor. The first setting we need to look at is our threshold, and this basically tells us where the filter will start having an effect. I'm going to set that to minus 18 dB. Next, we'll have a look at our ratio, which controls the amount of compression we're applying. For dialogue, 3 to 1 is a good place to start, but this clip probably needs more like 5 to 1. And now let's have a listen to our audio. Yeah, 100% uh, Barramundi are the iconic sport fish of the north, and uh, that's what we're here to catch. While everything is nice and even now, the level is also much lower because we've squashed our peaks down when we applied that compression. So we're going to go ahead and use the makeup to get our volume back to where we want it. Let's have another listen. Yeah, 100% uh, Barramundi are the iconic sport fish of the north, and uh, that's what we're here to catch. Great, so looking at our meters now, we can see all of our dialogue is sitting nicely in that area around minus 10 to minus 12 dB. So there you have it. I hope you guys and girls found this helpful. Stay tuned for another two-minute tutorial soon.